हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षिता यो एजुकेटर आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ स्पर्धा परीक्षा बाय ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च अ कंप्लीट सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग सीटेट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दिस सीटेट एग्जामिनेशन विच वुड बी हेल्ड इन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी वर डीलिंग विथ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन इन मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन द रीजनिंग पोर्शन वी वर डिस्कसिंग दर मेनी टॉपिक्स लाइक सीरीज देन वी मूव टू द पैटर्न ऑल्सो देन द टॉपिक कॉल्ड clock was also covered in today's lecture number 18 we will discuss the topic called calendar in detail okay now if you are preparing not only for seated but if, if you are preparing for different examination entrance examination then this topic called calendar is very much important for you okay so in today's lecture we will discuss how the calendar questions are solved in short tricks okay at the same not only for the seated if you are preparing for different entrance examination this topic will be very much beneficial today's lecture is very much important for you okay now moving on to the today's lecture i would like to introduce to the course that has been launched by the global online now the central teacher eligibility test 2022 for that the complete course has been launched by global online for paper 1 and paper 2 now here you will be provided with the following features the very first is full syllabus theory lectures will be provided at the same time practice multiple mcqs mock tests will be provided full syllabus notes will be provided in the form of pdf and the course fees for paper 1 is just of 2000 rupees you have to go and download the global online app from the play store or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course friends for paper 2 again the central teacher eligibility test which will be held in december 2022 for that complete course has been launched again for paper 2 via global online platform here again you will be provided with the full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test will be provided here full syllabus notes will be provided and the course fees is just of 2000 rupees okay you have to go and download the global online app again contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course now the students who are going to opt for paper 1 and paper 2 both for them the seat at a complete course has been launched for paper 1 and paper 2 via global online again full syllabus theory lectures will be provided practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes in the form of pdf will be provided and the course fees will be just of 3000 rupees basically if you are going for paper 1 then the fees is of 2000 rupees for paper 2 the fees is again of 2000 rupees and paper 1 and paper 2 ke liye the fees is just of the 3000 rupees compiled paper 1 and paper 2 course okay so you have to go and download the global online app i'll tell you the procedure how you have to enroll at the same time you can contact us on this whatsapp number for enrolling the course now here following steps you have to follow this is the final procedure i would like to tell you over here the global online app that you have to inst uh, install from the play store at the same time you will find such interface over here here you will find an icon called store you have to click on the store you will move to the pages called courses here you have a search tab provided on the very starting of the page okay here you have to search for the courses now global online is a platform where you can find categories of different categories of courses if you are preparing for different entrance examination like if you are preparing for phd entrance examination for set net even for the neat students also the, the courses have been provided via global online app so here you have to type ctet that is c t e t then you will be provided with the courses that is paper 1 paper 2 and both compiled paper 1 and paper 2 courses along with the fee will be displayed over here so in this way you can enroll the course now if you want maximum marks in the examination if you want the maximum marks at the same time want guaranteed selection in the examination then this course of global online for paper 1 paper 2 individually and paper 1 and paper 2 compiled will be very much beneficial for you you can completely rely on our courses on our video lectures on the pdf notes once you go through all the notes you don't have any kind of need to go for another kind of compilation or sources okay this is the one stop solution for your seated preparation so friends without any do let's begin into the video okay uh friends today's topic is calendar now in calendar many various different kinds of types of questions can be asked so the very first task in today's lecture that we will do is we'll find we'll actually discuss what is uh, uh, the stuff that we have or the facts that we have to keep in mind regarding the calendar okay the first task the very second task we will do is we will try to uh, solve all the questions in today lectures but if not possible then 
we will discuss the remaining questions in the part 2 of the calendar okay i'll uh, release one part 2 over there okay but basically in today's lecture we will discuss the calendar what are the odds even what is the leap year what are the general year okay ordinary year what we can say that okay so we will discuss each and everything in detail and some of the types of questions that can be asked in the examination okay when we learn the basic structure of the calendar okay what are what are the things that we have to keep in mind very first thing of what is the calendar it is just a chart or a series of pages showing days weeks or months of a particular year or a given particular seasonal information okay this is not important for us now what is important is basic structure of the calendar what is the basic structure of the calendar okay now in basic structure of calendar the things that you have to keep in mind is the very first is ordinary year now what is ordinary year ordinary year is also called as general year okay it is also called as general year now what is ordinary year and general year that we must be able to understand any year having 365 days is called as the ordinary year any year koi bhi year jiske andar how much days are there there are 6 365 days it means it is called as ordinary year or general year okay the, the this is the first thing that we have to keep in mind nextly the second thing is leap year okay now what is leap year in leap year this is something we have to keep in mind like any year having 366 days any year any year having 366 days is called as leap year so basically there are two years that we have to keep in mind regarding the basic structure of the calendar that is the ordinary year and general year or general year the question can be asked as general year also or as the ordinary year also that is 365 days and leap year it means the year having 366 days is called as the leap year okay now this is the i would like to give you example over here that is 18 uh, 79 2019 okay these are all the ordinary years okay nextly 2009 okay these are the ordinary year and leap year ke examples are 2012 2016 2019 okay these are the leap year now basically how we should understand that a particular year is a leap year or a particular year is, year is a general year for that i'll give you a trick but here you must understand that ordinary year it means that a year having 365 days and leap year it means year having 366 days is called as a leap year now as i told you the ordinary year or the general year having 365 days and leap year is having 366 days whenever we divide the 365 by 7 365 days divided by 7 we, we get 52 weeks why we have divided by 7 to convert the 365 days into weeks okay so that is the reason we have divided by 7 so basically in ordinary year we find 52 weeks plus one extra day okay so basically in ordinary year what we find is there are 365 days and whenever the 365 days divided by 7 we divided by 7 to convert it into weeks we find there are 52 weeks in the ordinary or in the general year and one extra day and this one extra day is nothing but this is called as odd day this is called as the odd day okay nextly this odd day is uh, represented or we can say it's referred uh, as the extra day in the calendar okay this is referred to as the extra day you can say the odd day is the extra day in the calendar it is also called as the extra day or the odd day nextly when we find the leap year in leap year when we divide the leap year by seven 366 days when we divide it by 7 the question will be 52 so basically there are 52 weeks over here okay and two extra days two extra days are find out over here two extra days so these two extra days are nothing but these are called as two odd days these are referred to as two odd days isko kya bolenge hum isko bolenge two odd days so till now what we have learned ordinary year in the basic structure of the calendar ordinary year general year in ordinary year sorry in ordinary year there are 365 days okay and in the general year there are sorry in general or the ordinary year there are 365 days and in the leap year there are 366 days in ordinary year we have explained how we convert it into week there are 52 weeks plus one extra day in leap year there are 52 weeks plus two extra days and these extra days are referred to as nothing but these are referred to as odd days an ordinary year has one odd day and the leap year has 
टू ऑर्ड डेज ओके कंसेप्ट ऑफ द ऑर्ड डे दिस वॉज द ऑल अबाउट द ऑर्ड डेज ओके नाउ वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द ऑर्ड डेज नाउ वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द ऑर्ड डेज ऑर्ड डेज ऑर्ड डेज क्या होते हैं हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द ऑर्ड डेज फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर मंथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू कंसिडर जैनुअरी एज वी नो इन जैनुअरी देर आर थर्टी वन डेज ओके देर आर थर्टी वन डेज इन जैनुअरी वी नो दिस फैक्ट नाउ नेक्स्टली वेन एवर वी डिवाइड दिस थर्टी वन डेज बाई सेवन वाई वाई आर वी डिवाइडिंग इट बाई सेवन अगेन टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू विक्स ओके बेसिकली वेन वी डिवाइड थर्टी वन बाई सेवन इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ वेदर इट इज ऑर्डिनरी और अ लीप ईयर कोई भी ईयर होने दो वी आर जस्ट कैलकुलेटिंग द जैनुअरी के अंदर कितने ऑर्ड डेज है हाउ मेनी ऑर्ड डेज आर देयर इन जैनुअरी इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द इट मे बी अ जनरल ईयर और अ लीप ईयर वी हैव टू जस्ट कैलकुलेट द ऑर्ड ईयर ऑर्ड डेज ओवर हियर इन द मंथ ऑफ जैनुअरी इन जैनुअरी देर आर थर्टी वन डेज एंड वी हैव डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन द डिविजन ऑफ द नंबर थर्टी वन बाई सेवन प्रोवाइड इज द रिमाइंडर वॉट इट प्रोवाइड द रिमाइंडर इफ यू डिवाइड सेवन बाई थर्टी वन ओके वॉट वी फाइंड इज सेवन थ्री जार ट्वेंटी वन सेवन फोर जार ट्वेंटी एट एंड सेवन फाइव जार थर्टी फाइव सो वॉट वी फोर जार ट्वेंटी एट ओके इट मीन्स इट गिवज रिमाइंडर थ्री ओके वॉट इज द डिविजन ऑफ द नंबर थर्टी वन बाय सेवन प्रोवाइडर्स इट प्रोवाइड्स अर्ज द रिमाइंडर दिस इज रिमाइंडर एज अ टोल्ड यू रिमाइंडर इज थ्री ओवर हियर ओके दिस इज द रिमाइंडर सो बेसिकली थ्री इज द रिमाइंडर हैंस जैनुअरी हैज हाउ मेनी ऑर्ड डेज जैनुअरी हैज थ्री ऑर्ड डेज जैनुअरी हैज थ्री ऑर्ड डेज ओके January has three odd days. In this way, we calculate the number of odd days. Okay, from this, what we can derive is any month having thirty-one days. Any month that is having thirty-one days, it consists of how many odd days? It has three odd days. Okay, it has three odd days. And for example, any month having thirty days. If a month is having thirty days, then the remainder over there will be. Try to calculate it. Okay, thirty divided by seven. करके देखो. We will get the remainder over here is two. So basically, there are two odd days. There are two odd days in case of month having thirty one days. Sorry, thirty days and a month having thirty one days will be having three odd days. This is this is the concept of the odd days. What was the concept? We have seen that thirty one days are having three. Odd days and thirty days is having two odd days over here. Okay, so at the same time, in the case of year, what we have seen that the leap year is having how many odd days? It is having two odd days, and ordinary year is having one odd day. We'll write down it over here. That is leap year. Leap year is having two odd days. Two odd days. Okay, leap year is having. Two odd days and the general or ordinary year, we, which we call, is having one odd day. That is one extra day. Okay. So this is the thing that we have to keep in mind that a leap year having two odd days, general year or ordinary year is having one odd day, and thirty one month wala. Sorry, thirty one days wala month is having three odd days, and thirty days wala month is having how many odd days? It is having two. Odd days. Okay, in this, this was the concept of the odd day. Now, in this concept of odd days, there is an exceptional case. Okay, we have to see one exceptional case. Let us see that. In this odd days, there is one exceptional case. In this exceptional case is in the case of February. Okay. In the February month, if we go for the ordinary. ordinary year okay in case there are two cases actually here in ordinary year there is one case and another in case of the leap year okay now what is ordinary year and or what is leap year that we have seen that there are 365 days and in case of leap year there are 366 days now what is the basic difference we find out over here is in case of february in leap year there are 29 days okay there are 29 days in case of leap year in case of leap year in the february there are 29 days okay and 28 days in case of the ordinary year so basically this is the thing that we have to keep in mind that is 28 days in case of the ordinary year and in case of leap year there are 29 days okay
so to find out the odd days what we will do is 28 divided by 7 okay here directly the remainder will be 0 okay completely divisible so 28 is completely divisible by 7 so the remainder is 0 over here and in case of leap year and in case of leap year what we can find is 29 days are there so basically here the remainder will be here the remainder will be 1 so in case of leap year there is one odd day okay in case of leap year that is in month of february so month of february is having one odd day in case of leap year and month of february is having zero odd days zero odd days in case of what it is having zero odd days in case of the ordinary year that is one odd day in case of leap year and zero odd days in case of in case of ordinary year please do screenshot it once now in today's work i will give you that find out find out the odd days of each month okay each month you have to find out all the odd days of all the 12 months okay either in the, in the case of leap year or in the case of the ordinary year so there will be just a difference of the month of february right so so basically you have to find the all the odd days this will be your today's work okay this will be your today's work today's work to find out the odd days of all the months okay now moving on to the next topic over now in today's lecture i will give you some of the codes okay some of the codes regarding some of the years and uh, also the weeks okay different weeks ke andar kya kya codes aayenge different months ke liye hum kya kya code denge i will give you all that and you just have to note it down you we will use that codes in the uh, questions directly okay so basically uh, also one thing i have uh, left out over here that is how to calculate the leap year how to know that it is the leap year or not okay to find out that what we have to do is whenever a year is given to us for example i have taken here 2016 this is one year now to calculate this particular year is the leap year or not to find out this what we have to do is divide the given year by four we have to divide the given year by four and if the reminder over here comes zero if the reminder comes over here is zero then that is the leap year so basically whenever a year is given to us divide it by four and find out that the reminder is coming zero or not if it is coming zero it means that given year is a leap year now here i have taken 2016 i'll divide it by four what is the answer four five are 20 right zero zero I'll take zero za zero. So basically, if I take four four za sixteen, then answer will be zero. That is, reminder is coming over here is zero. It means that two thousand sixteen year is nothing but it is a leap year. In this way, we have to find out a particular year is a leap year or not. Okay, so the trick that you have to follow over here is do not divide it like basically all the year by 4 simply we know the divisibility test of 4 what we will do is 2016 if it is given just see that last two digits of that year okay for example any year is given to us we have to just calculate that particular thing given that is the year given over here having last two digits if the last two digits is divisible by 4 it means that the given year is leap year okay in 2000 ke, in this in this case that is 2016 wala example ka case mein hum kya karenge see the last two digits that is 16 is the last two digits we can calculate that 4 4 just 16 it means the remainder is over here coming is 0 okay remainder over here is 0 it is completely divisible it means that this year is leap year so the trick that we have to follow over here is just see the last two digits last two digits dekho agar wo divisible by 4 hai, it means that it is a leap year so this was how to calculate which year is a leap year or not how to see how to find that a particular year given to us is the leap year this is the trick okay nextly now i'll give you the codes so before giving you the codes i would like to take some of the examples over here okay now before uh, taking the example i would like to tell you one trick over here look into the trick for example now the question to us asked is if it was thursday or we can say if it is for example friday friday on a particular day for example they have told us that 15th of july 1964 or something year is given okay if they have told us that on this particular day of this particular year this was the day from the week that is friday okay now we have to find out the day of the week on 15th of july 
on 15th of july 1965 for example okay now we have to find the find the day of the week okay we have to find out which was the day from the week on this particular date of this particular year now to find out or to calculate such questions what we have to do is just i'll tell you that a trick over here very first thing you have to keep in mind over here is the trick that i will give you if we are moving from leap year to ordinary year if we are moving from leap leap year to ordinary year that is question is asked uh, that we have to go from the leap year to the ordinary or general year then we have to do plus 1 now what what we have to do plus 1 kidhar se plus 1 karna hai kahan plus 1 karna hai i'll tell you but just keep in the mind if you are moving from leap year to ordinary year we have to do plus 1 and if we are doing or if you are moving from ordinary from ordinary or general year to leap year there there what we have to do is we have to we have to add plus 2 okay what we have done here if you are moving from leap year to ordinary year we will add plus 1 and from ordinary year to leap year we'll add plus 2 now where to add plus 1 and where to add plus 2 let us see in this example now as i told you on 15th of july 1964 the day was friday the day was friday now we have to calculate what will be the day on 15th of july 1965 okay now as we see whenever we such we, whenever we find such question where date is similar month is also similar then find the uncommon thing over there what is the uncommon thing over here we find that 1964 and 1965 there is a basic difference of how much year over here one year now very first thing in such given questions what we have to do is find the particular year is particular the given particular year is the leap year or general or ordinary year now in 1964 the last two digits are 64 okay when we divide the 64 by 4 what we find is 4 ones are 4 2 left okay 4 six are 24 so basically the remainder over here is zero it means 1964 is the leap year 1964 is the leap year now when we find 65 in case of 65 we we find remainder is 1 so basically here 1965 is not a leap year it is a general or ordinary year we can say okay general or the ordinary year so now here what we find is we are moving from 15th of july 1964 to 15th of july 1965 it means we are moving from leap year to ordinary year okay whenever we move we move from leap year to ordinary year we will add plus 1 so basically where we have to add plus 1 we have to add plus 1 in friday okay when we do friday plus 1 it means saturday is the day on 15th of july 1965 answer will be saturday okay if you are not understood let us take one more example okay in this particular example it was if we say it was uh, saturday if it was saturday on 19th of may 1975 and we have to find out the day of week we have to find the day of week on uh, 19th of may 1976 for example okay in this particular given example very first thing what we have to do is write down the days and the dates and year okay month also so 19 may 1975 is the one date that has been given to us and 19th of may 1976 okay now what is the data given over here is on 19th of may 1975 the day was saturday the day was saturday we have to find out the day on 19th of may 1976 i have told you that the first thing that we have to follow is that we have to find the is the date similar yes we find that the day day and month 
or the date and the month over here is similar now what is the difference the difference only is of the year over here now the second thing what we have to see over here is whether 1975 is the general year or leap year that we have to find out now basically 75 is not divisible by 4 it means that it is a ordinary year it is an ordinary year and 1976 now 1976 is 76 divisible by 4 let us check that 4 ones are 4 5 6 7 okay 4 eights are 36 so 18 so basically 1976 is divisible by 4 it means that 1976 is a leap year okay now in this particular question the first thing that we have find out the ordinary year and leap year over here okay now check out the movement now we are moving here from the ordinary year to the leap year okay we have to calculate the 19th of may 1976 ke andar what was the day from the week so we are moving from ordinary year we are moving from ordinary year to the leap year as i told you whenever may we move from the ordinary year to leap year we will do plus 2 so add plus 2 in the saturday 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 plus 2 so saturday sunday and monday so basically what will be the day will be monday okay answer will be monday so we have done saturday plus 2 as i told you once again i will tell you that if the if we have to find the particular day of week we have to find a particular day of week whenever the date is given month is given and year is given and if the year is a what we have to see over here that the year is having leap year or ordinary year the first thing that we have to calculate over here is, or, or we have to find out is that the year given is the ordinary year or the leap year and the second thing that we have to calculate over here is are we moving from ordinary year to leap year or from leap year to ordinary year okay if we are moving from leap year to ordinary we have to do plus 1 and from ordinary to leap year it means we have to do plus 2 so basically the thing that that is a trick of this question that is directly we can find out that it was saturday on 19th of may 1975 and we have to find the day of week from 1976 that is of 19th of may 1976 we have directly add plus 2 as we know that we are moving from ordinary year that is 75 to 76 it means we are moving from ordinary to leap year it means we will add 2 in saturday okay that is monday is the right answer to the question In this way, we find the answer. Now, I'll give you a question over here. Try to find out in the today's work. Okay, try to find the answer of this question. For example, it was Thursday. Thursday on seventeenth of May, nineteen seventy-six, and find find the day of week. on 17th of may 1975 okay 17th of may 1975 try to resolve this question the very first thing that we have to do is write down these dates okay for your convenience and the basic difference is 17th date is common may that is month is also common 1976 and 1975 is having the difference okay the difference is in the year now whether we have we have to find the first thing over here is whether 76 that is 1976 is a leap year that is you divide the last two digits by 4 that is 76 divided by 4 karke dekho so if it is divisible it means it is a leap year if it is not then it is not a leap year so try to find out this answer if we are moving from leap year to general year you will add plus 1 in third Day, okay if you are moving from general year to leap year you will add plus 2 in thursday so this will be the way how you will solve the question okay so this was the end of today's lecture thank you for watching the video if you like the video please hit the like button at the same time you can comment in the comment section if you have any kind of doubt as well as the suggestion regarding the series nextly this will be the end uh, hardly will take one lecture on the calendar okay so tomorrow will be the end of the series for mathematics paper 1 if you want the series for any other uh, sorry subject so you can mention in the comment section at the same time thank you for watching my video if you like then hit the like button comment as well as do subscribe the channel for more motivation of me so that i can make more videos uh, out of the interest okay so uh, once again i would like to tell you the subscription sorry 
fees regarding the subscription or the enrolling the course that is the central teacher eligibility test 2022 which will be held in december 2022 for that complete course for paper 1 paper 2 and paper 1 and paper 2 has been launched if you are going for paper 1 then the fees is of 2000 rupees for paper 2 again the fees is of 2000 rupees and you, if you are going for paper 1 and paper 2 compiled then the fees will be of 3000 rupees if you want maximum marks in the examination as well as you want the guaranteed selection then this course will be very much beneficial for you this is the one stop solution here you will find the full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock tests full syllabus notes and the course fees is, is in the given form so basically you have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course thank you for watching my video stay tuned for more such videos